All right, so here we go again, man. Um, I'm Taphead, man. Here we go again. We talking to Pastor Steve, Pastor Quine, man. And um, I told you I was going to bring y'all a bunch of videos, man, talking about the different things. And um, I told y'all that I had a series talking about Peter's Rock and talking about the members of Peter, talking to the members of Peter's Rock. And eventually we're going to get uh, uh, Pastor Steve Lee, their father, in here. We're going to talk to him about a few things. But right now, um, we wanted to end this video off talking about politics because you know anybody that's a church goer or a church member a lot of times um different members they leave because of politics mm -hmm. you know and they they find they they find an excuse and i'm guilty of it too to to say well i don't want to do this in church or i don't want to be a part of this or i don't want to be a part of that because i don't understand the politics um unlike you guys i didn't grow up in church mm -hmm. um so but I did go to church uh, when I was a kid, but I didn't grow up in church. Um, so I didn't understand everything about the church. Uh -huh. um, talk, to, uh, talk to the people, talk to me um, about politics in the church, Steve. Well, uh, politics in the church, it's, you know, of course, politics is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially in America, you know, politics is... In, in every situation, it's in sports, it's in school systems, it's uh, even in a church like we were talking about, it's at your job. Uh, so everywhere you go, politics follow you. And um, politics in the church, um, it, it, it can be a uh, negative thing, but it can also be a positive thing. Okay. And uh, on the negative side, again, like you said, some people um, tend to leave churches due to seeing political things happening in the church certain certain decisions being made yeah. you know what i'm saying and certain um certain uh vocal statements that have to be said you know in the church some people get offended by it so some people walk away you know what i'm saying then you have the positive side of it where uh it embraces some people okay you know what i'm saying some people love politics in a whole period yeah, yeah, yeah. you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and uh because of that some people gra you know gravitate would you call it confusion that some people like confusion mm. i would not call it that because uh, i'm not a, a huge fan of politics okay. i will <laughs> state that but i wouldn't call it confusion because uh, again politics have have its positive sides yeah and because of that you know what i'm saying maybe they only look at it with one, you know, with one uh, uh, perspective. perspective, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with one perspective. So because of that, you know, I can't say, well, there, you know, it's confusion. You know, I mean, you know, uh, uh, again, nothing can be ran without money. Okay. You know, and I, I know that's that's some of the main things when it comes to church and politics. That's one of the main money. entities okay. that people going to bring up is money. You know what I'm saying? And, and the Bible says money is the root of all evil. But the Bible also says uh, you know, it says for the love of money is the root of all evil, but the Bible also says that money answers all things. You know what I'm saying? And people will say, well, that's confusion. But, you know, nothing is ran without money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you you know, you have a church building. There's lights, there's gas, there's right. bills that have to be paid. Right. You know what I'm saying? People are coming. You know, me and you had a conversation about, you know, uh, musicians. People are coming and they're using their gifts. It's biblical. Paul and them went to different cities and different churches and proclaimed the gospel and people were just giving to them because they were being a blessing to the people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And they were giving to them, you know what I'm saying? But they were keeping it so they can keep being a blessing so people can come to God. So, so people can come to God. So this is ran by money, you know, in a, in a way, you know what I'm saying? So people can keep having a, a place to come and worship God. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And people can keep following God and people can keep joining God. You know, it's not to run people away and say, we trying to take all your money and we trying to take money from your kids mouth or your family or your household no it's not like that it's just people it's just we have to keep this running so people can keep coming to christ well what about the pastor that's taking the money and going off and buying um jets and uh bentley's and benzes i'm talking about the pastor that's not mm -hmm. doing with the money that you know, that he's supposed to be doing. Uh, unfortunately, the, the sad truth is that there are going to be men of God and women of God of that stature. Um, all we can do is refute them. You know what I'm saying? When, okay. when, when that 
opportunity presents itself, all we can do is refute them. I mean, not to put nobody on blast or anything, but we, we are due to refute them in that manner. Here's the, the sad truth. The sad truth is that the rest of us are held accountable for what they did. Right, right. But you cannot judge Moses' leadership based upon how Pharaoh ran his army. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't. We're, we're two different leaders. Right. Mo Moses wanted people to be free, but Pharaoh thought that it was humorous mm -hmm. to for, for them to be bound and to use them as slaves. But 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 the rest of us, the the Moses generation, or 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 yeah, the the the, Mo the, the Moses is have have to bear the responsibility, or uh, rather the uh, the uh, uh, we have to put up with what 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 they do wrong as if it's us. But am I my brother's keeper? Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so we live in a world, and we, you know, we live in a world where, even in the military, mm -hmm. um, your actions I'm reflected by. Mm -hmm. So if you do something wrong, mm -hmm. we all have to do push-ups. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't know if this is getting away from the politics. No, or no, 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 that, that, that uh, ties in. Okay, so, it, because you said that what this guy over here does shouldn't reflect how you see me. Right. But if I'm my brother's keeper, then how do you keep a, a how do you change the minds of an unbeliever mm -hmm. that uses that as an excuse not to come to church That's or not to be a part of it? Right. Yeah. It, it ties all in. You know, um, when, when my brothers, for instance, are doing something or have done something that is not in a likely fashion that may give us a bad stigma, that may cause someone to uh, deteriorate our character or look at us funny or, you know, say bad things about us. What, what we do as brothers, right, what we do as brothers is is come to each other. We, we hash it out, like you're saying, uh, so that... Uh, because one, because we understand, hey, listen, man, what you do can also reflect off me. Right. Two, I want you to be integral. You, you got dignity. You know your character and your name is all you got. We do come together. It's his. It is his job to take it and apply it. Things of that nature. However, though, there there's always going to be a Satan who comes in and he runs almost. The same kind of kingdom, yeah. okay. right? right. Uh, just like we got music, he got music. Right, right. Just like we got a, a, a room full of people, he do too. Just like we dance and shout, he he's the chief right. of dancing and shouting. That's what he do. Yeah. You know, and so it's almost one of those wheat and tear conversations. Right. You, you yeah. got to know how to determine which ones are your brother right. for you to keep. Okay. And which one is just playing a part of Satan's cat? Okay, you get what I'm saying? Because he, the Bible also says he he blessed the just and the unjust. And the unjust, right? And and, and and a lot of times, and this is not to take up for him because there is some people that will take the people money and go buy things mm -hmm. that they shouldn't be, you know, spending the money on things that they shouldn't be spending right. it on. But also, we all we always got to look in the light of. Well, they're the man of God. God is blessing them as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know if they're spending your money or not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they are blessed. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and for sure, for sure. I mean, of course, I understand that aspect, but we have to think.